Welcome to my channel. Is Punjabi food good or bad for Weight Watchers? When we think of Punjabi cuisine, the thought of Kilabatra makes our mouth water. But to maintain an ideal weight, we often ditch stuffed parenthas in favor of muesli and oats and roti and dal in favor of multi-grain bread. But is it worth abandoning the very food we have grown up eating? The food that fills us with happy hormones and feeling of fullness at the same time? Is our favorite Punjabi food really all that bad? Let us find out. All about Punjabi food. Punjabi food is not only about Kul Batra, Rajma Chawal or Paneer Makhni. While restaurants have a big role to play in popularizing these dishes and providing you with fat-laden food, there is a lot more healthy and organic background to a typical Punjabi meal. In a traditional Punjabi house, a typical meal consists of roti, Indian bread, sabzi and dal with lassi. Ever wondered why the traditional plate doesn't have rice, or why there is both dal and sabzi? The reason is that since the farmers work the whole day plowing in the fields, they need food which offers them both energy to work and the immunity so that they do not fall ill. Roti has carbs, which is good for long-lasting energy. Subzi contains local vegetables like okra, eggplant or potatoes, therefore, it contains antioxidants. Not all households consume non-vegetarian on a regular basis and because protein is required to increase the body's working efficiency, and also to keep the muscles strong, we have dal. Lassi is an essential element for a healthy gut. In traditional Punjabi homes, milk products are organic and churned, and hence keep diseases at bay. Another important thing to understand is that since this food is made and customized for the northern region, geography places a huge aspect. Food is determined by winter, summer and spring. Since the northern region is greatly affected by these three weathers, food choices change as per season to maintain ideal body temperature. For example, in summers, kanji, a black carrot preparation, is consumed popularly in northern homes to beat the heat and to restore body's electrolyte imbalance. While in winters, maki ki roti and sarsan kasag are consumed to keep the body warm. The reason paranthas came into the mainstream diet in North India was because workers and farmers who traveled long distance and could not come home for lunch, were given boiled vegetables stuffed in rotas with ghee. This helped them get ample energy throughout the day and helped them sustain till dinner. Paranthas are healthy because they are made of whole wheat flour, boiled vegetables and ghee. Ghee contains essential fat-soluble vitamins like A, D and K, which our body requires on a daily basis. Hence, to ditch this simple meal and switch to foods which contain no salt and no sugar is doing more harm to your body than good. Where did we go wrong? We majorly ruined Punjabi cuisine when New India started experimenting with this simple meal to make it tastier. There is no harm in making food tasty and enjoying it. But easy recipes which worked in our favor started working against us due to the new culinary spins. For example, the traditional batra in Kilabatras was made from whole wheat flour, boiled potatoes, yeast and salt. This was replaced by restaurant chains with refined flour, baking soda, excess salt and coloring agents. This helped them bring down the cost of producing batteras in more quantity. The traditional batra was also cooked in oil and not a mixture of trans fats. The same happened to our favorite rajma, dal makhani and even simple rice. In the phase, since the food chains wanted less quantity to be consumed by more people, baking soda was added so that one felt enough with one bowl of rice or one bowl of rajma or dal. The next time you go for a wedding, notice how little you end up eating and how bloated you feel even with this less quantity. In fact, butter chicken was not even a Punjabi dish, but somehow it entered the Punjabi food chain quickly due to the dollops of butter added to it. Adding one spoon of ghee or white butter made at home is healthy and will help you lose weight and fat. But adding spoons of packeted large-scale manufactured butter will only make your food tastier and your waste bigger. Other than this, since carbs is an essential part of Punjabi food, the time when you eat it plays a huge role. 
If you are in the habit of eating food post 8 p.m., not only will it affect your weight but also your digestive system. If you have been feeling bloated, heavy and groggy every morning lately, this might be your answer. The addition of trans fats is what wrecked Punjabi food and made all Weight Watchers turn their necks from this delicious and healthy cuisine. Having said that, it is necessary to keep portion size in mind and the ingredients added in a dish to make it look appetizing and mouth-watering.